you be hiding something from yourself? Lying to the world about your intentions? Let's find out. Nihilism. The rejection of every moral belief relating to religion or our societal norms and values for the pursuit of nothingness. The idea that nothing matters. The idea that anything that you believe in might not have any real effect. Alright, before I get any further in this idea, you should probably go watch this first video. And after you've done that, don't say anything about the fact that I'm not wearing any glasses, because in the time that I've recorded that video to this video, I have completely lost my glasses. No idea where they are, they just went into some sort of weird ether, and they're, they're gone. So close your eyes for a second. Go to a place of wonder and imagination and gluten. Let's think about spaghetti. Take spaghetti. It's made in a million different ways, everyone has so many different opinions about it, Many people do eat it, whether you're Italian or not, whether you put a bunch of sugar in or a bunch of wine or you secretly put an ingredient in this pot of most likely tomato sauce mixed with other veggies and or noodles at the same time and sometimes just meat all together in a pot. Who knows? Regardless of how you make it and how much you like it or dislike it, the idea of you disliking it or liking it is rooted in so much more than you just agreeing that you like something or dislike something. Take for example, you grow up in an Italian family, like me. You have a secret family recipe that everyone grows up and believes that they're making something that is generational and of value to a greater purpose because you are connecting with another human being who you came from, who you were born from. My grandmother teaches me this beautiful sauce and I'm now making this sauce that she taught me to make when I was growing up and it's just this bigger idea and I have this put into my head that I like tomato sauce. And even if I don't like tomato sauce, there's this nostalgic idea of me believing that there's a greater purpose to this tomato sauce because of the way I was raised. Now, take for example, a person who may have eaten tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, <laughs> with tomato sauce in it in the past. They've eaten it, they've enjoyed it. One day, they get extremely sick. They realize that they're allergic to tomatoes all of a sudden. I'm not saying this is a real story, I'm just giving an example. Somehow, this person can no longer eat this spaghetti sauce. And now, this person despises spaghetti sauce. They've been in and out of the hospital because tomatoes have torn up their stomach. They have heartburn they can never get rid of. They have been ruined by spaghetti sauce. So now, when you take your generational values and this person's real pain because of what they have gone through because of spaghetti sauce are now at odds. Who's right? What opinion becomes right when each person's opinion is rooted in truth? Is it because opinion only matters subjectively? Are both people right? Or does it matter? If this person in the hospital looks past this person's generational love for spaghetti sauce, can they still get along? Now, I bring up this extremely simple example about spaghetti sauce because I've never seen wars fought in favor of or against spaghetti sauce. Maybe there was. Maybe I didn't do enough digging. Internet people, do your thing. If they're... Roast me in the comments. There might have been an entire war about spaghetti sauce, and I'm completely wrong. But this is my whole point. If there are wars fought over religious ideals and for resources that another country doesn't have, then why aren't we fighting over the idea of spaghetti sauce. The idea that nothing matters 
isn't that nothing matters to a whole society or a person individually, but does anything really matter when everyone will have a different opinion based off of their entire life views? If you belittle somebody for their generational values and the way that they were raised and something that makes them feel good within themselves makes them survive through the day and support themselves because of how their family supports them, even if it's through spaghetti sauce, do you throw them out in society when that becomes not the norm? What about the person who, is, who, who their entire life has been ruined because of spaghetti sauce? What do you do then? If the entire world said that eating spaghetti and with spaghetti sauce was the entire purpose of living and you had to follow this rule, otherwise you were not a part of that society. Even if this person right here couldn't because of some health related issue, do you cast them out? Do you leave them behind? Or do you simply let them live their life? To go even further with this person who's dying from spaghetti sauce and this person who is thriving through spaghetti sauce, how do you support each other without actively having to be a part of that lifestyle? Do you go over to their side every once in a while? See what's happening? Do you visit them? Do you support them through passive means? Or do you completely reject their ideas based off the fact that they're not yours? Something to think about. So yeah. <laughs>